All right, shalom, shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to my elders and the apostles of the house of David, Great Millstone, GMS, that rule very well. Shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered to the four winds of the earth. All right, to all you Akim doing the videos, going out and teaching weekly, a few times a week, you know, continue to do the work, uh, continue to push this word, okay, we almost out of here, alright, um, I am uh, going to go into a quick lesson on the book of Acts 3 and 19, through the spirit and power of the Lord, of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, uh, this is Shemaya. Uh, it's going to be very quickly. Um, I'm going to read the book of Acts. Yeah, book of Acts 3 and 19. This is the only scripture. I thought it was more me to it, but I'm just going to break this down and uh, uh, edify. Hopefully it's edifying. Book of Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come. From the presence of the Lord Let me read that and break it down Because this is very important Now we have women starting off with the woman I'm going to start with the men Because you know The flock of my pasture are men The tabernacle of God is with men uh, ye, ye men I call Ye men You men I call I call men Not women You know A lot of You know I just want to put point this out really quickly Before I break this down You have women saying Well there was women in the scriptures being prophet and the prophetess. You, know, you have to understand. You know what a male man is. You understand. You understand. The male man, male woman, you, you get, they're delivering mail to a house. That's what you women do. You're not, you, you're not breaking down anything. You're delivering the mail. Okay? You're just delivering the mail. It only happened a few, a few times in the scriptures. You women don't know the scriptures. You listen to your husband. Um, the scriptures say, Salak, yeah. The scriptures say, if your wives learn anything, let them learn at home. Let them learn at home. So you women of Israel, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women, you must learn at home. Not to be all in, in, all in the videos, all, all on the comment board, you know, trying to... Uh, be something you're not You're only a woman You're underneath the man You, sh you should stay humble Because the Lord ain't dealing with that man The Lord will put you to death The Lord will do some something to you. you You know, just stay in your place You know, and you know Your job is very simple Take care of the of the house Do the best best that you can With your husband that you are blessed with The blessings that you have Have with you and yours And be thankful Be Be content um, be uh, thankful that you have what you have um, But you women, like I said You're nothing but like a male man all right? You men I call The Lord said, ye men, you men I call So you men, you gotta repent of Israel all right? Starting with you men You so-called black men, Puerto Rican and Native American men You are Israelites You are the princes of God Yah, Shar. Ya Shar Allah, okay? Ya Shar Allah, the princes of God, okay? That's what that word means. You are the princes of the Heavenly Father, and this is why we're in captivity. You know, we are we are in this captivity, and, and, and we uh, our our righteousness are nothing but filthy rags, for we all do fade as a leaf. Um, no matter what we do in this walk of ours, once you once you wake up. You're still unrighteous, meaning we're still filthy, no matter what kind of deeds we do. But the, the beauty of it all, Yahweh Shai dying on that cross, that tree, you know, for the remission of sins, for the elect, for all of Israel, but mainly the elect, that's specifically the elect, you on this side in America, in, in the four corners, you're only going to repent. Two thirds of our people are not going to repent, they're going to die. So the point being of this scripture here, the Lord is telling all of Israel to repent. You know, it's fair. 
you know, hey, repent, y'all. Repent. I send my prophets out in the morning, in the evening. Because we some brothers go out in the evening. Some brothers go out in the morning time on the weekend, on a weekday. Some brothers go out different times depending on their schedule. But we're out there warning you. Warn, son of man, warn them for me. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Now, what does that mean? Repent and be converted. You got women saying, well, I already repented. I, I had this woman, you know, for over nine years, you know, I was with, you know, I, you know, an abortion. I repented. I repented. I repented. No, you did not repent. You did not repent. This is, this is the madness and the wickedness of the woman. You did not repent. You're adding sin upon sin, man. When you're being proud like that, the Lord hate a proud look. Hey, um, <laughs> what did the Lord say? I hate a proud look. Uh, I did not create that for man to be proud. So when the woman was telling me and trying to lie to herself and tell herself I already repented, and I'm telling her this is the way you need to repent for that abortion. This is the way you need to repent for this. The woman is just hard-headed. People are hard-headed in general. But repent ye and be converted. How do you repent? Like I said, not saying that I already repented already. What did you what did you repent from if you repented? Repenting repenting is not about, oh Lord, forgive me. Oh Father God, re- forgive me. Oh Heavenly Father, forgive me. No, you have to understand if you're sincere and, and if someone is coming into your life or came into your life. You know, you just met a man, he, he, you, hey, you find out you're something special, you're an Israelite, or you're, you know, something you may ask, ask him, or oh, why you read the Bible all the time, or, and you may slip up and say something, you know, that may be your time to really repent, man, because you may have uh, uh, committed adultery before that man, you, you may have created, uh, committed adultery, abortion, which is murder. Which you cannot be forgiven if you don't repent. You're going to be put to death, man, if you don't repent. Repenting is calling upon the name of the Heavenly Father. That's a true repentance and being a new creature. So repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of the refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Now what is that? The times of the refreshing. The World War Three, the ICBM nuclear missiles because millions... Of ICBM nuclear missiles will be hitting America very soon. World War Three is coming. So when the time of the refreshing, what is that? The missiles are going to refresh. I'm, re- I'm gonna repeat that. Refresh the world. The Earth is gonna rock to and fro like a drunkard. Woe, the third woe cometh quickly, right? That day shall burn as an oven. All the proud and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and that day shall burn them up, saith the Lord. So that's the refreshing. And the presence of the Heavenly Father is going to come before the missiles. Because he's going to beam up the elect, Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, my big brother, our big brother. He's going to beam the, the front of the chariots. Um, they're going to be beamed up. Okay? They're going to be beamed up. So the elect will be beamed up. And you have to understand this. From the presence come from the presence of the Lord. When the times of the refreshing, oh, I'm sorry, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So the presence, the presence of Yahweh Shai is coming. He's coming in clouds. He's coming in, 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 in the chariot, in the biggest chariot. You call them UFOs. So no heathen can repent, no heathen can pray. God is racist. The Most High is racist. Okay, it's a lot here. Let me. Um, the Most High is racist. The, the the word racist means to be for your own people, to be for your own kind, to be for your own only. It's not a bad thing. The Most High created His people to be for Him, to serve Him, to worship Him. It's like you have a virgin, and a lot of us we don't have that. You have a virgin. She learns your way of living. She worship worships you. Meaning, she listens to you. She calls you Lord. Okay? That's what I mean. It is very important to understand this. Okay? When you have sin on sin on sin and you're, and you're in the world and you think that you repent, you repented, 
you know, <laughs> I repent. No, you did not repent because you're still doing the same thing. And you didn't wake up to who you are. Repenting is said even in the Old Testament, we acknowledge our forefathers that they have done wickedly. You have done right, we have done wickedly. That's in the book of Nehemiah, I believe. We have done wickedly. You have done right, we have done wickedly. Our forefathers have trans transgressed the law. Okay? We have broke the everlasting covenant. The covenant was given to Israel. That's why it says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of the refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Yeah, the book of Zechariah. One third shall be brought through the fire. Two thirds, <coughs> Salakia, two thirds shall be left therein. So only one third is going to make it. Two thirds are going to die in this city. All right? America. You know, you have the field, the world, the city, America. But all the two-thirds are going to die. The missiles are going to hit you. If you're in China, the missiles are going to hit you. If you're in London, the missiles are going to hit you. If you're in Jamaica, Puerto Rico, it don't matter. You're a two-third, you're going to taste the missiles. You're going to get put to death. Those missiles are going to hit you. You're, gonna, you're not going to survive if you're a two-third. You're going to die of hunger. You're going to die of missiles, but the missiles hit is over. It's going to hit you wherever you are in, in the world because the Lord is going to kill two-thirds of our people. Even before the missiles drop, the millions of missiles, there's going to be FEMA camps, martial law, no food. So you repent by acknowledging your four, our forefathers, why you repent. And when we end this word, um, well, before I get to that, you have to acknowledge why you repent, why you need to repent. Or you act as if that's the last time you need to repent. No, you need to repent on a daily. Meaning, pray on a daily. Pray every night. Pray every morning. Lord, Father, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Because we're in captivity. Right? Uh, Salakia. And we're, in, and we're in captivity. And we are going off. We're eating pork and our chicken, pork and our beef. We're eating... Um, um, uh, uh, it's pork and drinks, I believe. Um, we're wearing two different fabrics. Um, that's why you, you're, you're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts. And right now, it's very important that we repent. But you have to know why you need to repent. Like I was saying, we repent even being wakened. When you awoke, when you woke up to you being an Israelite, and you're become a new creature in Yahweh Shai, not Christ. That's not his name. And you won't be saved using Christ or God. You won't be saved. I promise you. I promise. I promise you. You will not be saved. So you woke up to who you are. You being an Israelite, you repent. Now you you're walking your new walk. Every day you still need to repent when you pray. Because we're still going off. But the ultimate repentance, what does it say in the book of 1 Corinthians, I believe it says, he said, um, what did it say? Um, um, you, you are saved until the end, if you believe, you know, so you believe, if you believe, the same shall be saved. The same shall be saved, meaning if you believe until the end, if you hold firm until the end, the same shall be saved. So you're going to be saved if you hold firm until the end. You're going to be saved. You're going to be beamed up in the chariots. Or if you're a martyr, if you die a martyr, if you have to have your head cut off, you're going to be first on the chariots. The dead in, the dead in Christ, the dead in what? Uh, Yahweh Shai shall rise first. So you're going to be on the chariot first. So it's very important for you to understand uh, repenting daily once you wake up you still need to repent but the ultimate repentance is acknowledging you your forefathers our, our us being israelites our forefathers going off you being an, an israelite you trying to keep the hurt rehearse rehearse because that's all we can do rehearse the righteous acts which is in the book of judges right judge Judges, Salakia, <laughs> pronounce that word a little off. Um, so it's very important that we need to rehearse, man, because that's all we're doing. Ain't no man should be boasting about. I'm keeping a law. I'm keeping a law. Shut up. We can't keep the law perfect. 
That's what Nate and them say. When you get lineups. Okay? Salakia. Satan. We get lineups. Um, so, Nate is getting lineups. Salakia. <laughs> so, uh, I'm about to wrap up in a second. Uh, that's all I wanted to get. So let me read it again. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of the refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Now again, I broke it down. Let me break it down again. Make sure you get it. The ultimate repentance is you acknowledging who you are, knowing who you are. Your forefathers, knowing their transgression of the law and knowing what you did in, in the world and, and, and what you want to not do anymore and come to Yahweh Shai, who is Christ, who you call Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shai, the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh. That's what you coming back to. The government knows their name, man. They pay certain groups off to teach bullshit. This ain't no joke. See, the Most High is on our side. He allows Esau to do what he can. But what did the Most High say? Do my prophets no harm. Touch not my anointed. Touch not my prophet. Do my prophets no harm. You ain't going to do shit. Esau, no, he can't do shit. He only going to touch some of us. Some of us are going to get our heads cut off. That's going to be what it's going to be. We're going to be martyrs. So what? Chuck, hey, chuck, hey, chuck it up. Be a man. You, you, you love the Most High, right? You love the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, our big brother. Hey, you know what Yahweh Shai been through? He was getting whipped on the back with all kind of weapons, weaponry. Spit it, thorns on his head, the king of the worms. You know, we can't get, we can't wait to get you heathens in slavery. We're going to fuck you up. We're going to fuck you up. <clears throat> Excuse my language. Um, but we're going to get you, all right? We're going to get you heathen, man. All of you heathens are going into slavery. You heathen women, you're going to be our concubines. You will be sucking our rods. You will be arching that back. You will be washing our rods. You will be washing our balls. You will be doing as we command you. We are your lords. We are your gods. We are over you heathen. Can't wait to get you damn heathen in slavery. We're going we're gonna to get you, man. We are going to get you heathen because you hate us. All of you heathen. And you can't repent, you heathen nations on this side. You can't pray. You can't call upon the name. The Lord said, I have gave, I have swore unto my servant David. I have made a covenant with my chosen. Only Israel can call upon the name. Only Israel. That's plain. That's in the book of the Old Testament, from the book of Genesis, all the way to the book of Revelation. Only one third, only Israel can call pray upon his name only we as a nation is being punished like we have a son he's out there in the corner he's out there with them badass little kids hey bring your ass in the house you only care about him or you talking to your son you ain't talking to the rest of them knuckleheads that's what the most high has done we are in captivity the book of amos you only have i known out of all the families of the earth therefore i, I shall punish you for all of your iniquity right so with that, I hope this was edifying. You heathens can't repent. You so-called white people, none of you heathens, you Edomites, so-called white people are Edomites. Edom, Amalek, Esau, you can't repent. You, you pale-faced devils, you Edomites. But we do have our people, confusion of faces, that are scattered amongst Edomites and heathen and the other heathen nations, the so-called Chinese, Chinese, Japanese, Moabites, Ammonites. So, like I said, i.e., for example, I'm going to say it, you know, again, I haven't said it on a said it on a few videos um robin thick george clooney robin de niro mark Wahlberg, the lady the woman that young the older woman that played on king of queens the lead role um again again confusion of face the sicilians um which i'd been knew they were israelites the hellenist greeks hellenist greeks um you have you have a lot of them I mean, like I said, I had a dream about that, and the guy confirmed me. He looked like a white guy in the classroom when, when I seen his face. I said, you a Helen is Helen, Helen in Greek, Helen is Greek, right? He said, uh, yeah. I said, yeah, you a nigga. 
and I woke up. So I had many dreams, confirmation on that matter, of that on that subject being the Hellenistas, the Hellenist, the Hellenist Greeks, Greeks, excuse me. Um, so, Amen. Only Israel can repent, and and remember, you're repenting from being in the world because you could have been dead. And the Lord said, "He that sin without the law shall perish without the law. He that sin in the law or sin with, uh, with the law shall be judged by the law." Um, let the multitude perish That was born in vain So two thirds of our people were born in vain Bunch of niggas We smoking adulterous niggas Bunch of wicked committing adultery Every minute niggas Two thirds you gotta die You heathen nations were born in vain You're nothing but our servants Our slaves You're going into slavery So I hope this was edifying man Only one third is going to repent and be converted You women need to repent and be converted Because you were whores You slept with more, more than one man You were a whore And once you repent You know that is taken off of you Because you're trying to walk in a new walk In a new light You have become a new creature In Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai So therefore You know you're not Technic I mean you're still that but we're not you know you shouldn't think of yourself to be a whore anymore because you're a new creature now you're walking in a new light in a new way you're trying to keep the laws so you you know you're 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 one of the daughters of zion now you're you know you 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 shaking off that that old you and now you put on the old the, the new you salakia so you're a better woman you're a new woman so your, 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 your former sins are not remembered anymore. So I hope this was edifying to you women. First of all, you men. Shalom, Akim. And, and you women, you, the Akwath out there, you few, you few sisters. Um, I, hope, I hope this was edifying because you women have to understand every man you sleep with, his DNA, his DNA stays within you, okay? And, uh, and part of, yeah, his whole, yeah, his DNA. Um, and, and, and when you give oral, it goes to your head. You, you need to understand. This is serious. It's not good to be lying around with different men. You Israelite, you so-called Black Puerto Rican, and uh, uh, Salakia, and you Native American women. But uh, Salakia. But uh, I hope this was edifying. Uh, with that, I say uh, Shalom.